Hello, welcome to an overview of the OrbiTouch keyless keyboard. The OrbiTouch is a 128 key keyboard and mouse that requires no finger motion or wrist motion. Typing speeds of 38 words a minute can be obtained through 15 to 20 hours of use. And the OrbiTouch is very simple to use. Each one of its domes slides into one of eight positions as indicated by these white arrows. Let me show you this. If I wanted to move the left dome to the blue zone, I simply slide it in that direction. Notice there's no twisting of the dome. I can do the same thing with the right dome. After I move the dome, it actually spring centers back to the center so I can move it back down. And let me show you the left dome up. So you see how it begins to slide. Now, let me show you how the Orbit Touch actually types a character. And in this example, let's type the letter E. First, we have to make sure that the Orbit Touch is in typing mode, and there's a light on the keyboard to tell you that it's in typing mode. And notice around the left dome, you see the characters. On the right dome, you see the characters that relate to one of those colors on the left dome. So, to type the letter E, <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is slide to the blue zone, because notice around the right dome, the letter E is blue. So, here's a little arrow to indicate the way the dome is sliding. So I'll move it into the dome, the blue position. On the right-hand side, I will move the dome to the left to the group of characters A through E. I don't have to aim at the E. I just have to aim at the group of characters. So that's the direction I want to move the dome here. And I slide the dome into that position. After the two domes are in those two positions, voila, there the letter E is typed. Now, the Orbit Touch also has a built-in mouse. Let me bring up a cursor here on the screen so I can show you how that works. To put the Orbit Touch in mouse mode, I simply move the left dome down twice. Double-clicking that dome actually takes me from typing mode to mouse mode, as indicated by the LEDs. Now, to move the mouse around, all I have to do is move the right dome. So when I move the right dome up, 
you'll see the arrow moves up. And then to click the device, or to use the clicks for the mouse, I simply move the left dome to the red zone for my left click, to the blue zone for my right click. It's that simple. I wanted a good keyboard, and there weren't any out there. I figured, well, how hard could this be? And then we built the best keyboard we possibly could. It's not what you'd expect from a keyboard, but people love it. Creating a keyboard is kind of a weird thing. It's been an obsession. Hi, I'm Jesse Vincent. I'm co-founder and CTO of Keyboardio. I'm Kaya Decker. I'm the CEO of Keyboardio. I'm also married to Jesse. 
most people are typing eight plus hours a day on uncomfortable, flat, plastic boxes that are pretty much the same as they were a hundred years ago. You deserve something better. And a musician's not like, well, I'll just take the plastic guitar off the shelf and it'll be fine when I'm staking my entire career and my, you know, my professional everything on this. Like, they're really thinking about it. I found a bunch of research about better keyboard layouts, how your hands work, and what actually matters in keyboard design. And every keyboard design in the last 20 years has flat out ignored it. So we built a good keyboard. The Model 1 is different. It takes some getting used to, but it's worth it. The Model 1 is that great sort of tool that supports the way you want to work and then gets out of the way unless you do the kind of work that you couldn't have done without it. And I love the way my fingertips kind of rest in the keys and how easy the keys are to reach. We're trying to build a keyboard you'll enjoy using for years. We have this gorgeous maple wood enclosure. We've sculpted the keycaps to guide your fingers to the right keys. And yeah, it lights up. The LEDs that glow from under each key are actually totally customizable and programmable. Originally, the butterfly shape was an accident, but we love it. It feels warm. It feels friendly. I bring the keyboard out in public and people look at it and say, can I touch it? It's a keyboard. You're supposed to touch it. That's the whole point. Up till now, we've been designing and designing and designing and testing and testing and testing. We've made dozens of prototypes before we liked one enough to call it the Model 1. And now we're going to make a few thousand. I spent most of my career building open source software. It was important to us that we build an amazing product that wasn't going to be locked down. Most products get worse over time. Open products get better. Because it's open source hardware, I know that I can customize it to my needs and then share those customizations with the community. You're going to get firmware source code. You're going to get schematics for the electronics. You're going to get a screwdriver. Even if you never touch a line of code, plenty of other typists will. And their work will make your keyboard better. This is a tool that I can use over the next 20 years of my career because it's going to grow with me. And so now it's possible for us to come to all of you and share with you what we're making. Thank you for paying attention. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Eric Charlton, founder of Solid Art Labs. I'm an engineer and an avid gamer. I've created a device that will revolutionize the way we interact with computers. I call it the King's Assembly. It's a new control system for your hands that consolidates several input devices into one assembly, enabling your hands to have full access to all the features of a full keyboard, a mouse, and a joystick. No reaching, moving your hand from one device to another, or looking down required. I started this project because I wanted to eliminate an irritation I have when playing computer games. It's inefficient to constantly have to move my hand back and forth from the keyboard to the mouse. The problem with computer mice is that they still require the use of fingers to move. So the core challenge I took on many years ago was to develop a way to use a mouse and at the same time have all my fingers and thumbs free to jam on keyboard keys, joysticks, mouse buttons, and scroll wheels. After a lot of research, years of work, and lots of modeling, I came up with a design I'm finally ready to produce that solves this core problem. I designed a specially contoured palm rest that has just enough support and friction to enable you to use the palm of your hand to drive the mouse. Getting this right was the biggest challenge, but with all fingers and thumbs finally free, I was able to design for each hand a curved fingerboard with 30 keys and a thumb module with five keys and an analog joystick. It has finger keyboard rows angled for fast access with 30 programmable keys for each hand, five programmable keys and a two axis analog joystick for each thumb, the highest performance and quality electronics, and a contoured palm rest to move the device as a mouse without requiring any fingers or thumbs to grip. Over the years, I've packed literally dozens of features into this product. Check out the huge list below. Whether you're a power user who wants better control over your software tools, a hardcore gamer who wants to get an edge, or both, this assembly will give you the advantage. So where's the project now? Here's where Kickstarter comes in. I've spent years doing research and developing features. I have a working prototype, and now it's time to take the final steps. And that's where I need your help. I need money to put the finishing touches on the shell design and programming, engineer a final version that can be mass produced, create metal molds for all the plastic components, and do a first run so I can get this in your hands. So help me fund the King's Assembly 
and be one of the first to experience this powerful, game-changing device. In the next few minutes, you'll develop an understanding of four major reasons why most keyboard designs are totally unsatisfactory. The computer is a powerful tool. Millions of people today work at a computer all day long. But some of them pay a terrible price. Ooh. Carpal tunnel syndrome and other repetitive stress injuries affect thousands of people every year. Once your fingers are on the home keys, your fingers will know what to do. Nothing in this regard has changed from the keyboards to which you're accustomed. Most people start typing at almost their normal speed and accuracy with virtually no transition time. I want to explain four major reasons why most keyboards are completely unsatisfactory. The first position that you have to assume to type on most keyboards involves pronation, or turning the hands so that the palms are down toward the ground. By pronating the hands, you take the two bones in the forearm and they begin to twist and scissor, compressing all of the nerves and muscles in the forearm. The second position is called ulnar deviation, and that involves twisting the wrist like so. The third position is called extension, which is bending the wrist. Now when a person types on a conventional keyboard, all three positions are assumed at the same time. Pronation, ulnar deviation, and extension of the wrists. Many so-called ergonomic keyboard designs actually just move the problem from one area of the body to another. Observe what happens when our typist goes from a conventional flat keyboard to a new split ergonomic design. You'll observe now that the elbows have to be held out away from the body, resulting in stress in the neck and shoulders. There's only one keyboard that can't be adjusted improperly and automatically places the user in that position. And that's the safe type. Boost your productivity by increasing your typing speed with the innovative new B Raider keyboard. Our unique radial keyboard design places the most frequently used character keys within easy reach of the agile index fingers and provides larger keys for the less agile fingers. This minimizes finger travel time and maximizes typing efficiency resulting in increased productivity. After only 8 hours of test typing with our optimized radial keyboard, Martina matched her traditional QWERTY keyboard typing speed and then passed it with ease. Despite having been a QWERTY keyboard user for over 25 years. B Raider keyboards are available with both optimized and QWERTY character layouts. Our Android radial keyboard app supports 5 different major languages and can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. B Raider Simplifying the future of data entry. Maltron manufactures the world's most advanced ergonomic and special needs keyboards. Their revolutionary design means minimal movement, maximum comfort and zero strain. With over 30 years of experience, theirs is the first keyboard to achieve RSI recovery. I love this keyboard. The Maltron keyboards helped me in relation to my symptoms of repetitive strain injury which I started to experience in around 2003. I'd previously had carpal tunnel syndrome in 1996 and had surgery for that but it had resurrected itself um, and the Maltron keyboard was introduced to me by our health and safety department as a keyboard designed to assist people with those types of symptoms. The design is such that you have rest pads on either side and your hands can be more flexible with your wrist turned to release the pressure within your carpal tunnel and for me it has done exactly that. Since I've had the keyboard I've not had one day symptom. Maltron single handed keyboards not only eliminate all unnecessary reaching, twisting and straining but also significantly increase typing speed. I've had the keyboard for about a year and a half now. When I'm using it, 
I can see that there's been a lot of thought that has gone into the design of the keyboard. The ergonomics perfectly fit my hand. I hardly have to move my fingers to, to type things. And the, 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 the lessons have been amazingly designed as well. As an educator myself, I can see that there's been a lot of thought gone into that. It's been extremely reliable. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. It's been on my desk every day. I've been extremely pleased with it. Well, delighted. I'm delighted with the keyboard. Um... It doesn't take long to get used to at all. The, the keys are laid out logically, so they, they fall naturally under the hand. Whereas QWERTY, you, you're hunting around if you're trying to manage it one-handed. Clearly, it's been very well thought out. And uh, I, I haven't been able to offer any suggestions of improvements, despite nearly 20 years of using them. One of the major causes of carpal tunnel injury is poor hand position. Other ergonomic keyboards change the physical layout in order to address hand position, but that only begins to ease the effects of keyboarding injuries. In fact, most ergonomic keyboards incorporate only small, cosmetic changes. The DataHand keyboard incorporates and exceeds all the advances of the competitor's keyboards. You can adjust the angle of the DataHand to accommodate your body type and comfort zone. The two sizes of palm rests included with the data hand ensure that your wrist and forearm are supported in the neutral position. You can use the data hand keyboard on your lap by using the lap lander, on a keyboard tray or desktop, or by mounting the data hand on the arms of a chair. On the traditional ergonomic keyboard, hand position is improved, but the hands must still be held over the keys, and there is still a reach required to strike the keys that are not in the home row. The data hand eliminates poor hand position because it is completely adjustable, and it brings all keyboard operations to the fingertips. With the data hand keyboard, only the fingers do the work. No hand, arm, or wrist movement is involved. Every function of the keyboard is available from the same hand-resting position.